During the Qing Dynasty, Heilong relied on wells and water storage tanks for drinking water, as the poor water quality and insufficient supply led to the outbreak of diseases. It was not until the Japanese colonial period when Keelung Port replaced Tamsui Port as the main trading port, resulting in a population increase and increased external interactions, that clean water became a basic requirement for survival and development. Therefore, in the Keelung area, efforts were made to find headwaters, and in 1902, the first water purification station in Taiwan was completed in Nuanyuan, making Keelung the earliest city in Taiwan to be supplied with water from a water purification station. Since then, Nuanyuan Water Purification Station and Shishu Reservoir have undertaken the significant responsibility of supplying water for the livelihoods and industries of Keelung for a period of 50 years. After World War II, with the increase in population in the Keelung area and industrial and commercial development, starting in the 1960s, the water storage capacity of Shishu Reservoir gradually became insufficient to meet the water demand in Keelung, prompting active efforts to develop new headwaters and expand water purification stations. Today, Keelung's main water sources include the original Nuanyuan Pump Room, Shishu Reservoir, and the newly developed Jungfu Ra Water Station on the Masu River, Badu Pumping Station on the Keelung River, as well as the construction of the Xinshan Reservoir and the Dongshu Kung River Weir. Seven water purification stations supply domestic water to the Keelung area, including Gongliao, Ruifeng, Xinshan, Nuanyuan, Anil, Zhongfu, and Liodu water purification stations. Gonglia Water Purification Station serves the water needs of Gonglia District, Ruifeng, and the coastal areas, providing approximately 6,000 cubic meters of water daily. Additionally, it supplies the Keelung city area with an actual daily supply of about 65,000 cubic meters. One of Keelung's main headwaters, the Zhongfu Ra Water Station, is located in Wanli and utilizes a weir on the Masu River and water well pumping, completed in 1972. The water intake at the Zhongfu Ra Water Station is greatly influenced by rainfall in its catchment area with an average daily water intake of about 60,000 cubic meters. Apart from supplying about 7,000 cubic meters of raw water to the Zhongfu Water Purification Station daily, it also supplies approximately 33,000 cubic meters of raw water daily to the Anil Water Purification Station and about 20,000 cubic meters of raw water daily to the Xinshan Water Purification Station. The Xinshan Reservoir is the most important water resource in Keelung, located on the southern side of Anil District, Keelung City. It is situated on the middle reaches of the Dalalan River, a tributary of the Keelung River. The Xinshan Reservoir is a single-purpose off-stream reservoir for public water supply, with the Keelung River serving as its primary headwater. Additionally, there is a pumping station in Badu along the Keelung River to supplement the water storage of the Xinshan Reservoir. The Xinshan Reservoir commenced construction in March 1976 and was completed in October 1980. At that time, it had a total storage capacity of 4 million cubic meters. The bottom elevation of the water intake point was 45 meters, and the spillway consisted of an overflow bellmouth vertical shaft with a diameter of 7.4 meters and a tunnel. The spillway's crest elevation was 86 meters, and the tunnel had a diameter of 3 meters and a length of 330 meters, with a flood discharge capacity of 48 cubic meters per second. In response to the increased water demand in the Keelung area, the Xinshan Reservoir underwent a heightening project in 1993 and was completed in December 1999. The reservoir dam is a zone-rolled inclined core rock-filled dam. After the heightening project, the crest elevation of the dam increased to 90 meters, with a dam crest length of 262 meters and a width of 10 meters. The maximum dam height reached 66 meters. The total storage capacity of the Xinshan Reservoir increased from 4 million cubic meters to 10 million cubic meters after the heightening. It supplies 150,000 cubic meters of water daily to the Xinshan Water Purification Station serving areas including Keelung City, Shiji, Ruifeng in New Taipei City, 
and is also responsible for regulating the raw water supply to the Anil and Nuanuan water purification station. The Badu pumping station is located at a distance of 300 meters upstream from the Badr Bridge on the Keelung River, with its work completed in 1980. The weir is 63 meters long, with a fixed weir on the left bank and an elevation of 12.5 meters on the dam crest. On the left bank, there is a grid discharge channel with two lifting steel plate grid discharge gates, each 7.2 meters wide, and a gate threshold elevation of 11 meters. The maximum designed water intake capacity is 280,000 cubic meters per day. The Badu pumping station is equipped with two graphite cast iron pipes with a diameter of 1.2 meters, which transport water from the pumping station through a distance of 3.2 kilometers to the Xinshan water purification station for treatment and use. The remaining water is then transported to the Xinshan reservoir through a 0.9 kilometer pipeline for storage. In the event of water supply from the reservoir, it is sent in reverse through the pipeline to the Xinshan Water Purification Station. The Dongshikung River Weir is located in Nuanyuan District, Keelung City, on the Dongshikung River, a tributary of the Keelung River. The water intercepted by the weir is pumped to the Xinshan Water Purification Station for treatment and public water supply using four pumps. During periods of abundant water, it can supply 50,000 cubic meters of water daily. Originally designed as a rubber dam weir, it was frequently damaged by flash floods and drifting debris. In 1998, the Water Corporation installed flap sluice gates downstream of the rubber dam body on a concrete base to replace the original dam. The Zhengfu Water Purification Station draws its raw water from the Masu River, located in the Zhengfu village of Wanli District, New Taipei City. It was completed in 1966 with a designed daily water output capacity of 8,000 cubic meters. The supplied areas include Jijin First Road, Jijin Second Road, Jijin Third Road of Keelung City, and Wanli, Yalu, among others, serving a population of approximately 50,000 people with a penetration rate of 98%. The water purification process and facility arrangement at the Zhengfu Water Purification Station involve several steps. First, the raw water from the Masu River is sent to a grit removal tank, where larger sand and gravel particles settle. After this, it is transferred to a weir mixer, where the water's oxygen content is increased. It then enters two flash mixers and two flocculation basins. The raw water forms flock particles and is subsequently sent to a sedimentation tank. Larger flock particles settle to the bottom of the basin. The water containing tiny suspended particles is sent to two rapid sand filters. Through the filtration process using filter media, impurities are removed. The cleanliness of the filter media is maintained through a backwashing mechanism. After rapid filtration, the treated water is disinfected with chlorine and then sent to a clear water reservoir before being distributed to various areas. The wastewater generated during the water purification process at the Zhengfu Water Purification Station is collected in a wastewater basin, and the upper clarified water is recycled. The Anil Water Purification Station is part of the Taiwan Water Corporation's Sinshan Water Treatment Plant, located on Ong First Road in Keelung City. It uses traditional rapid sand filters and was officially opened in January 1973. The design daily water output capacity is 33,000 cubic meters. The raw water is sourced from the Masu River at the Zhengfu Raw Water Station, with backup sources from the Xinshan Reservoir and the Badu Pumping Station. It supplies water to Keelung City, Ang First Road, Runai Senior Citizens Home, Fushing Road, Daqing Desheng Community, and the harbor area for ship use, serving around 50,000 people with a penetration rate of 99%. The water purification process and facility arrangement at the Anil Water Purification Station involve several steps. First, the raw water enters a weir mixer for chemical treatment and is then sent to eight flocculation basins. After forming flock particles, the raw water is transferred to eight sedimentation tanks, where larger flock particles settle to the bottom. 
The water containing tiny suspended particles from the sedimentation tanks is sent to four rapid sand filters. The raw water undergoes filtration to remove impurities using filter media. It is then disinfected with hypochlorous acid in the rapid sand filters before being conveyed through a pipeline to a clear water reservoir. From there, it is distributed to various areas. Any sludge and wastewater generated in the process are collected and sent to a wastewater basin, and the clarified water from the top is recycled and returned to the weir mixer for further water purification. The Xinxiang Water Purification Station has a designed daily water output capacity of 200,000 cubic meters and sources its water from the Keelung River through the Badu Pumping Station, Masu River through the Zhongfu Pumping Station, and Dongshikung River through the Dongshikung Pumping Station. In addition to supplying the water purification station, any excess raw water is stored in the Xinxian Reservoir. During periods of low water supply, the Xinxian Reservoir's raw water is utilized. The raw water undergoes purification processes such as chemical dosing, coagulation, sedimentation, filtration, and disinfection. After purification, the water is pressurized and distributed to areas including the anal community, country Xinjiang, elevated areas, and it is gravity-fed to supply water to the Keelung city area, Liodu, and Shiji. The water purification process and facility configuration at the Xinxian Water Purification Station involve several steps. Initially, the raw water enters the raw water basin, then goes through a distribution well, a distribution tank, and a flash mixer. It is subsequently directed to one pulsed sedimentation tank and three solid contact sedimentation tanks. After flocculation and sedimentation, the water enters 13 rapid sand filters. Following filtration and disinfection in the rapid sand filters, the treated water flows into a 15,000 cubic meter clear water reservoir before being distributed to various areas for use. Wastewater generated in the water purification process at the Xinxian Water Purification Station is managed through a series of steps. Wastewater is discharged through sludge scraping equipment and transported to two wastewater basins. From there, the wastewater is sent to a sludge sedimentation pool, with the bottom layer of sludge from the sedimentation pool being directed to a sludge thickener. In the sludge thickener, solid and liquid components of the sludge are separated. The solid sludge is sent to a wet sludge tank and undergoes mechanical dewatering to achieve dryness. Afterward, it is outsourced for disposal, often being processed into sludge bricks for reuse. 1926, Shisha Reservoir was commissioned. 1966, Jiangfu Water Purification Station was commissioned. 1972, Jiangfu Raw Water Station was commissioned. 1973, Anil Water Purification Station was commissioned. 1976, Xinxian Reservoir construction began. 1980, Xinxian Reservoir was commissioned. 1980, Badu Pumping Station was commissioned. 1980, Xinxian Water Purification Station was commissioned. 1993, Xinxian Reservoir Heightening Project. 1998, Dongshikung Weir was commissioned. 1999, Xinxian Reservoir Heightening Project completed. Keelung Port, during the Japanese colonial period, was the most important trade port experiencing a rapid increase in population due to active trade activities. To meet the water demands of the Keelung area, the first water purification station in Taiwan was completed in Nguyen in 1902, making Keelung the first city in Taiwan to be supplied with water from a purification station. The development of public water supply in Keelung has spanned over a century, significantly contributing to the promotion of local industrial development, commercial prosperity, and the improvement of residents' quality of life. As we enjoy cleaned tap water today, we should remember the origins of this essential resource and be grateful for the efforts and dedication of those involved in public water supply. It's also a reminder to cherish every drop of water and appreciate the challenges of water resource management.